Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Are you gonna run me over? Excuse me. Sir, can you turn your machine off, please? Can you turn your spray off? You're spraying me with poison right now. No. Yes, it is. 9146. Sir, you need to stop. Oh, oh my God, dude. You guys are watching this right now? Sir, you need to stop! Call the cops. Call the cops. Get your phone out. Call 911. Call the freaking cops. He sprayed me down, refused to turn off the sprayer. Ja, uh, 67027L. Call the cops right now. Hello? Last night, I had a horrible incident with one of your drivers. He almost ran me over, and he sprayed me continuously right in my face. Where were you? I was on Damn Neck Road. I'm actually watching the video right now, and I just pulled up his truck number. 9146. Yeah, 9146. Fellow with a beard. He came in and told me, he says, I, he says, this lady says that I shot her in the face. And he says that I tried to run over. And he says, I swear I did not see that lady. Not only was it all on Facebook Live, but now it's on YouTube. And he clearly saw me. I was standing right in the middle of the road with a witness and with about 17 people watching me live. But now it's on YouTube. I didn't go to the hospital. I probably should have. My face was beet red. I've been poisoned. But regardless, I was standing in the middle of the street with my arms stretched out. He saw me the first time he went around because I tried to stop him the first time. I was waving him down. My car had all of its lights on. And I was literally in the middle of the intersection with my lights on, standing in the middle of the road. My car was off to the side. It was like an entrance to an apartment complex. My car with all of its lights on were was to the left. And I mean, well, if, from his view, it would be to the right in the parking space. I was standing in the middle of the road with my arms stretched out. He rolled up on me and I was telling him to stop. You see him stop. Then he continues to try to room, room push me off with his car, like trying to push me out of his way, literally with his car. I was screaming, stop, please stop. And he's, he just kept, you know, trying to push his way through me, literally with me screaming bloody murder. I have it all on video. Okay. Then I said, are you trying to run me over? Then I go to the side. I actually engaged him. I said, please turn off that sprayer. I, and, and I was trying to talk to him. I said, you're spraying me right now, right in my face. Stop. And I was, and he refused to. Then he like tore out of there to try to get around me. I tried to run and stop him and I was screaming, please stop, sir. And all this. And he didn't stop. I called the police. I've already reported this to the police. Oh, well, you can come on down here and get, what do you, what do you need? So far right now, I mean, do you want to hear it? Do you want to hear it or see it for yourself? That way you can judge what happened. S send it to me. You got my email. You got my email. All I wanted was to see what chemical he was spraying. That was it right in front of me, spraying down my car. You know, I mean, I have to breathe this air in. It's just so out of control. You know, I'm believing what you're telling me. Mm -hmm. I understand that. He sprayed me deliberately, and he tried to run me over with his car. I have a witness to that. He kept pushing me with his car, finally to the point where I said, it's not worth my life, and I jumped out of the way of his car. And you hear me screaming for my life. This was horrible. This guy is no teddy bear. This guy is a freaking monster, and he needs to be fired. And I'm pressing charges against him for assault. Well, you were in your car, correct? I was right behind him. Don't get out of your car. Oh, you're probably not going to like a lot of it. You're probably going to say I did a lot of things wrong, but you know what? i got to stand up for my right to breathe. All I wanted to know is I wanted to see his MSDS. I believe what you tell him and everything. I stood in the middle of the street with my arms stretched out for him to stop because I needed to see his material safety data sheet. I wanted to know what he was spraying. I was breathing it in. He was right in front of me. He was spraying directly in my path. All I went to do was go get my dinner from the Chinese place, and I am being forced to breathe in whatever he's spraying. I know by law, when they're spraying out in the public, they have to carry their material safety data sheet. And they yeah, have, they do. And they have to show us, if a public person asks them, what are they spraying, they have to tell them. It's going yeah. around like some rogue cowboys chemicals chemically spraying the planet. There are people like myself that don't want to breathe it in. You know, I was poisoned last night by, please God, tell me it was permethrin and it wasn't scourge. 
biomist, which is permethrin. I single-handedly ended the scourge from that last incident. Yep, I remember it was permethrin and not scourge, because the scourge, good God. Scourge isn't even available anymore. <coughs> I breathed in so much of that crap last night, you know, but, um, it's, you know, I do this stuff. I put myself at risk because of Don't the... do that. Don't do that. No, I'm, I'm talking to I'm talking to both of you. Don't. See, so you're at the front of the truck and he's spraying out the back, correct? Yep. The, the spray should be shut off. You hear the motor running, but the spray should be shut off. The spray was never shut off. He never shut it off, sir. You hear me completely begging him to shut it off. I want this guy fired. I want him freaking something. I want something to happen to him. He evaded me like I was the police. It was crazy. I mean, I know what you were doing. I understand that. Because he had just assaulted me. He chemically assaulted me with, with basically like a chemical weapon. He tried to hit me with his car. That was the scariest part. See, I, I don't, I'm not one to like give up. I'm not one to, I'm an activist. I'm not one to just shut myself down. But he was about to run me over. I had to get out of his way. He kept pushing me with his car. Like going, rrr, rrr, like up for, I was like, oh my God. There's no excuse for this behavior from a city worker. Well, I mean, the guy didn't try to deny the, he told me, he told me, he, he swore he didn't see you. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I see the truck roll out, I see the truck roll out. I'm, yeah, I, I see, I see. I just want this guy to have some type of repercussion. I need this to be written up. Oh, he'll, oh, he'll, get, he'll get repercussions, that's for sure. He can never, ever, um, when, a, when a citizen is out in the street and he sees them, if he's spraying a neighborhood, he has to shut that thing off. He yeah. Go to the next street. There are people, we're not mosquitoes. Nobody knows when exactly you're going to be out there, so there are going to be people outside. Per per permethrin is not benign. Permethrin, a large doses, causes cancer. It's an endocrine disruptor. Oh, yeah. You get it right. Permethrin is not benign. I'm sure you know the dangers to humans. Oh. Yes. Yes. I understand. Um, I, can, I can keep this video, Tina. You, you can do whatever you want with it. Well, I think me and the man's just going to have to have me a little talk to see if I can't get some attention. Now, I want you to know this. You still live on the road, right? Yep, I still have the same house. Okay. You, if you'll notice, we have not been down the road in oh, a long time. That's awesome. And that's, and that's because that I have on every placard that goes out to that area, do not spray road. Oh, that's so freaking beautiful. Now, we are supposed to be in that area tonight, oh. as luck would have it. Yeah. Different driver, but it's on the placard. Again, do not do road. I'm going to have my cell phone on my hip. I'm going to give you my cell phone number. That, that, that's because, you know, the minute I tell you we're going to be out there tonight, the, wind, the wind's going to blow too high or something's going to happen and I'll cancel the... I'll have to cancel the treatment, and then you'll be gone somewhere for no reason. Now, let's say you call me about 6.30, and uh, I'll tell you what the status of us going out tonight is. Okay. Is that, that a good idea? Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, and uh, I'm afraid me and my driver is just going to have us a little chat here. But I'm going to take your word. Thank you. And I see, I saw the truck enough. I'm going to say he freaked or whatever. Yeah. I'm going to say that I'll... I'll see if I can't get his attention this way, but uh, in return, I want you to do something for me. What's that? If there's ever a confrontation again, please do not go towards the truck. Okay. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Okay. Just call me on my cell phone. Okay. And, and tell me, now that you've done it, just, but don't approach the truck. Okay. Now, I understand your side that being sprayed by pesticides when well, you don't want to be, that's confrontational. Yeah, we need to work together, the uh, citizens and the pesticide, you know, people, or to come up with some type of resolution for this. All right, uh, I guess I'll be talking to you okay. later because i got to have a little, yeah, you'll be, you'll be calling me at 6.30. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, thank you. Bye.